I'm uh, Nazir Sakur. I'm the CEO and founder of Longevity Wellness Worldwide. Um, Longevity is a brand, an international brand. Uh, I could say it's a leading brand in the health and wellness, tourism and services. Um, and it's actually, the, 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 the way I just said, it's very specialized in health and wellness hospitality. Uh, we currently operate in uh, three locations in the Algarve, in Portugal. Uh, one is within Villa Lara Talassa Resort, where we are the, the health and wellness arm within the hotel. Um, and then we have Longevity Segonia Country Club, which is a four-star affordable wellness positioning, value proposition to the market. And uh, we have just opened the Longevity Health and Wellness Hotel uh, in partnership with the HPA Group, Private Health. And there we are meant to develop the most comprehensive solutions for health and well-being uh, with more medical content than the other two locations. Um, as we can see from the studies, international studies, the wellness tourism uh, worldwide uh, has a total expenditure from data from 2017 of around 640 billion US dollars. So that's how big the market is. And I think uh, the, the driving factors for a wellness tourist, when they choose a destination, a product, uh, has al always important is the brand of the product, how that product is designed, the content, uh, they need to perceive that they will have an impact in that wellness holiday because it's a holiday. The hotel product together with the wellness is also important, again because it's a holiday. But then you need the secondary factors which are important in the customer choice, which is safety, climate, sunshine, uh, golf infrastructure, leisure infrastructure, and Algarve is very strong on those. It has already a brand around leisure and infrastructure and safety and climate. So if the market is huge and the Algarve already has these factors working for it, I think it's just a matter of individual products creating very focused and strong value propositions to capture that opportunity. Let me say that 95% of our clients, of longevity clients, are international clients. And we have tried in Portugal to promote the uh, PR companies, direct publicity, partnerships. Um, it's, we find it that maybe culturally it's still not there for people to go on a wellness holiday. Whereas in the UK, Germany, um, Holland, Middle East, Russian-speaking countries, this is already something that people do. Uh, they combine a holiday with wellness, investing in their health and well-being. I think it's coming also to Portugal, the same way the, the gyms, uh, when they start create, being created in Portugal back 20 years ago, maybe 20 years ago, there was only a few gyms. Now you have Holmes Place and Virgin and this. So, it's going to get there, but it's still not as mature as the international markets. What can be done more is educational, is explaining to the Portuguese consumers how important a wellness holiday can be to change lifestyle, to make a deep detox onto your system and give you better optimized health and well-being. So once they understand the benefits and it's really still a holiday, we never should forget that. It's a holiday. The week that a person goes into a wellness retreat, it's also a holiday. Then I think they will start to increase uh, consumption in wellness hospitality within Portugal. There are, there are I think, two myths related in Portugal related to the longevity brand. Um, one is that maybe they feel it's a offer for the seniors which we are not. Uh, the average guest of longevity is between 40 to 55 years old. That's the age uh, period when they feel more of the, most of the imbalances from stress, from poor eating habits, from lack of exercise, 
from pollutions, from toxins. That's when they feel the burden and they feel symptoms and they need to find a way which is uh, a complement to conventional medicine where they cannot find a solution for these issues. So it's not for seniors. It's for young people and for mid-aged people and also for seniors who are looking for this sort of offering. That's the one myth. The second one, uh, and maybe especially because we are, have just launched this last project, Longevity Health and Wellness Hotel, with an HPA group, which is a hospital group, there, can, there may be the idea that this is a hospital hotel. It's not at all. It is a spa hotel. It just has a next door private hospital that can have a tools, a medical tools, diagnostics, uh, therapies that are such an important complement to what we offer inside the hotel. But the experience of a guest in this hotel is like being in a spa. Some of them will need to go to the hospital to do some checks and balances or some treatments. But otherwise, it's like a spa hotel with a lot of health and wellness content to help people. Uh, I think uh, when the program of the conference was finalized in its, in, in its last version, uh, the topic of wellness was very strong. And Longevity uh, has been the pioneering brand in wellness tourism in Portugal. So we're going to make about 10 years. So I think it was imperative that we would accept the, the invitation from the organizing body uh, to come here and share. Share what is our vision of wellness tourism, what is our vision of the differences between wellness tourism and medical tourism, what are the intersections, what are the potentials, what can be done in the Algarve. Yeah, it, it, it was an imperative that we came and share our vision and our knowledge. So it was a great pleasure.